guys, this is Zenith with Garden and Mindfully. I have a quick question for you. When potting up your cactus and succulent plants, what's your preference? Does it make a difference if you use a glazed terracotta pot or an unglazed terracotta pot? Today we are potting up this beautiful bunny ear cactus. The bunny ear cactus is native to Mexico. It's also called the palta dot cactus because of those white dots. But don't be fooled by those white dots. They're actually very prickly, which is the reason I'm wearing gloves. Each one of those white dots are hundreds of tiny spikes. So it's very important when handling the bunny ear cactus to always wear something protective on your hands. It's also called the angel wing cactus, but you can see how it got its name, bunny ear. Very exciting, but it's very, very prickly, so we need to be careful. When potting up the bunny ear cactus, or any cactus for that matter, it's really important to get the soil right. I'll be using this miracle Grow Cactus and Succulent Mix. The unglazed terracotta pot is really ideal for plants that enjoy dry soil. It's very porous and it allows water and air to evaporate through the sides of the pot. You'll also notice that there are drainage holes in this spot. Again, the cactus prefers dry soil, so we never want it to sit in water. So using a pot that wicks water out of the soil is ideal. What I like about a glazed terracotta pot is that it elevates the plant. It adds a bit of elegance to the pot. And also, the glaze pot is much heavier. So if you have a plant that tends to get top heavy, the glaze pot is ideal because it won't topple over as much as the unglazed pot. We get winds up to 30 and 40 miles per hour. So I like to have a glaze pot because it's much heavier. So we'll go ahead and we'll get started by adding our soil mix to this unglazed terracotta pot. And as far as temperature, for zones 9, 10, and 11, the bunny ear cactus can very easily be grown outdoors year round. For us here in zone 8A, as I mentioned before, we do experience freezing temperatures. That means I will bring my cactus plants indoors in the winter months. Our last frost date is generally April 1st. So the first week of April, I will move them outdoors. See, it's very dry. See how dry the soil is? Very dry. But they prefer dry soil. Now, as far as whether they bloom or not. The bunny ear cactus does bloom. They tend to bloom in the summertime. I'm not exactly sure what color this cactus will be, but we'll find out in the summer. See, I'm able to get several plants from this one pot and they're very easy to propagate. We could basically just remove one of the ears 
and wait for it to harden. So we can wait about 24 hours for it to harden and then we'll just stick it to some dry soil and wait for about a week before we water it. From this one pot, I got six plants. Look at those roots. When it comes to watering, your bunny ear cactus, again, they thrive in desert-like conditions. So they prefer to go dry in between watering. And they actually thrive on neglect. So they're very, very drought tolerant. Now let's go ahead and talk about light. Your bunny ear cactus will thrive in bright light, direct light. When we talk about the difference between using an unglazed and a glazed pot, the unglazed pot will dry out much faster than the glazed pot. So if we're using the glazed pot, it's important that we pay attention and not over water. So there are two things to remember when caring for our bunny ear cactus is one, lighting. It prefers constant, direct sunlight. The second thing is water. Your bunny ear cactus will thrive with very little water. It prefers conditions that are extremely dry, which means it's important for us to allow the plant to dry out between watering. To retain moisture, I'll go ahead and I'll pot dress the soil. I'm using these pebbles I got these from Lowe's. I washed them a couple of times. I'll use these to top dress the soil just to help to retain moisture a little bit longer because the water will evaporate through the sides of the pot. Here we are potting up the remaining three in this glazed terracotta pot. These have beautiful roots. Look at those roots, beautiful. And you can very easily see the bunny air. Look at that, just beautiful. And each of those white dots that you're seeing are tiny hairs or tiny spikes. So it's very important to wear gloves while potting up your bunny ear cactus. And again, the glazed terracotta pot does not dry out as quickly as the unglazed pot. And it's also very beneficial for plants that tend to get top heavy. These won't necessarily get top heavy, planting them in this small of a pot. At maturity, they'll get to be around two to three feet tall and four to five feet wide. 
However, it won't get that large in this pot. I just really love the little bunny ears. Aren't they cute? I think they're the cutest things ever. Just beautiful. I'm really looking forward to seeing these bloom this summer. Because at the moment, I'm not sure if they'll bloom white or yellow. Very exciting. It's always nice to have something to look forward to. So as far as which pot is best for your cactus and succulent plants, the unglazed terracotta pot or the glazed terracotta pot, it really depends. It's important to remember that when using the unglazed terracotta pot, that it does dry out a lot faster than the glazed pot. Therefore, when we use the unglazed terracotta pot, we'll need to water more frequently than when we use the glazed terracotta pot. However, be reminded that as a cactus plant, they tend to be drought tolerant and they require very little water. So one way we can tell when it's time to water our bunny ear cactus plant is generally to lift the pot. But in this case, our glazed pot is going to be much heavier. So we can remove the top dressing and touch the soil to determine whether the plant needs watering or not. Another thing to remember, with freezing temperatures, the unglazed terracotta pot will crack during freezing temperatures. Whereas the unglazed pot, sometimes or more frost hardy than the unglazed terracotta pot. So there you have it. We have six beautiful bunny ear cactus plants, which we will place outside in a sunny location. We have three in this glazed terracotta pot that's top dressed. Looks almost like California gold pebbles, but they're not. The top dressing just really elevates the planter. It almost adds like a touch of gold. Isn't that just beautiful? And we have three in the unglazed terracotta pot. Just as a reminder, both containers does have drainage holes. I'll water these in really well and I'll place them outdoors in a bright sunny location until it starts to freeze. If you have enjoyed this video and would like to know more about succulents and cactus plants, please subscribe to our channel Gardening Mindfully. Happy gardening!